Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sparks Simon and this is Daily Rambles. Today we are doing Jessica Jones, but we're doing season one first, then season two. I just started watching season two. Oh, oh my god. But anyway, we're gonna start with season one. Um I thought I had enough time to do this. Apparently I did not. So anyway, we're just wanting to just wanna kinda cut through these kind of quick, and I'll probably post all of season one in the next two days, and then season two will be sporadically for next week. I hope. <laughs> so anyway, let's just jump right into it, and this is on season one, episode one, called AKA Ladies Night. So we'll start off with, I'm a, first of all, her intro is really, really, really good. I love the um, animation and the style. I personally loved it. Then we start off with Jessica's a private eye, and she beats up a guy that, she, um, basically she's, you know, um, she drinks a lot, obviously, and, um, then she's walking through town and see Trish talks, Trish talks sign on a bus, then she gets to see Hogarth, who is a lawyer, and she wants work, and she reluctantly gets her a job, and she's really good at her job because she can jump super high, she's a powered person and she's seeking out a couple and then she hears a voice is Kilgrave but uh, well for people who haven't seen it spoil this is all all the spoilers anyway so anyway she hears Kilgrave and she does technique to snap out of it she's kind of like um technically like PTSD about it and they actually do a really good job of sh showcasing that in the show and it's not like Two episodes, then I'm done with it. It's throughout the entire season, which I appreciate because some people say, "Oh, I have a problem." They snap out of it in two episodes and they're done. But you know, this one's different. Anyway, so she drinks a hell of a lot, and she's hungover in the morning, and she sees someone in her apartment, and it's Malcolm, who is lit up like a Christmas tree. He is pretty much done for the day. <laughs> so, um, so basically, he. Puts her back into her apartment, into his apartment, and then a couple talks to her at her um, place. And they want, they're trying to find their daughter, and the police referred them to her. And the husband wants to fix the door because her door is broken because the uh, guy that she beat up sent through his, her door. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Jessica agrees to help and does research and then she gets into the dorm to talk to the uh, roommates and basically there's another guy there uh, the roommate said it was about a, a guy and basically uh, the girl said to sell off her stuff and she only got like 500 bucks for it and so um, as they're going through stuff she um, took a piece of paper from the stuff that didn't sell then Jessica stops by um, a douchebag guy in his car and gives him a summons. And then she goes to get drunk and then she feels like Kilgrave's presence, it feels like. And so she uh, tries to snap out of it by doing street names on the place that she used to live on that he had nowhere near. So the, trying to get her in a check. Then she gets a call. Then um, Hogarth calls her. And then someone is, um, uh, someone is, um, making out with Hogarth, which is Pam, her assistant. And then she cuts her a check, and then Jessica goes to a bar, and that's where Luke Cage is, and Cage talks to her, and she goes in and gets hammered again. And then, um, she reads Cage, and then... They have a slumber party, an adult slumber party, because I'm not going to say that word because I don't want to get in trouble, but you get the gist. And then, uh, which I didn't expect in this series when I first watched it, I was like, oh, that's quick. <laughs> like, I know it's MA and everything, but I was like, damn. And so th then um, after that, she goes through his medicine cabinet and sees a picture of a woman then she kind of flips out a little bit and leaves. Then she throws up outside. And then she goes back to do research and sees a credit card um, statement that she got from the apartment. And then talks to parents. And then she goes into a, into a restaurant. And 
So God says that she was there last Tuesday. And then she has PTSD about being there because apparently that's where Kilgrave used to take her before it changed uh, ownerships of, into a different restaurant. And then, um, then she talks to the parents about the cops and tells them to leave and then buys a ticket, but the car was declined. Then calls, then calls, then calls Hogarth and wants a loan. And she says, um, she's on a date. And it says no. And then Jessica visits Trish and she wants to run. She tells Jess to do something about it, but gives her the money. And then she has to change her heart at the last minute and goes to a hotel where that's what Kill Grave used to take her. And then she pulls the fire alarm. And then once she sees that everyone else has left except for that one room, she goes to that room. And finds the girl, and she can't leave because Kilgrave told her not to. So Jess forcibly takes her, and then tries to help her calm down. Then Hope hugs her goodbye when her parents are there, and they are reunited. She Jessica's literally happy for one freaking minute, and then uh, Hope offs her parents in the elevator. And then when Jessica goes down to the main lobby, Hope says, smile, Jessica. And then uh, Hope snaps, um, goes back to herself and flips out. And then Jessica leaves and goes back in because she was kind of afraid about leaving again, but she decides to go back in and help. And that's in the episode. Crazy episode. Just freaking crazy, but I really like the episode, and I think it's just a lot of promise for the season. I think I'm getting sick. I hope not. Anyway, um, I'll give this one, I'll give this an A+. It was a really good episode, and I really liked it. As you can tell, I'll do this one take. I'll be editing the crap out of this, but whatever. I'm not doing it. <laughs> So anyway, um, that's what I'm doing for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, and tell me what you think of the episode. Do you agree or disagree? And then subscribe. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, everybody.